Hello and welcome everybody. In this tutorial we will see how to build a simple plugin with the Roadrunner. So what is plugin? Plugin is a small piece of software that can extend the Roadrunner functionality. We have two types of plugins. First type is a, just a general plugin which can be connected to the Roadrunner and then do some work like connect to the database, made an external requests and so on. Be accessible for example for the RPC calls. The second type of plugin is the HTTP middleware. HTTP middleware sits between the user and your actual PHP worker. So you can modify your request on the fly. If we refer to the documentation and the plugins what sits section, we can see a plugin interface which should be implemented to be um, uh, to attach to the Roadrunner. And like mandatory functions, which also should be implemented. Here we can also refer to the link and see a sample, like sample software, which can be built from the different types of plugins. But let's dig into the real code. Here, as you can see, I wrote a simple plugin. We will, in the next series, we will add more and more functionality to it. But let's start from the beginning. First of all, is a const name custom plugin. Uh, every plugin should have a name, and on this line we give plugin a name. Then the plugin structure. The plugin should have the name plugin, I mean plugin structure. This is mandatory to have because Roadrunner should know a name for the import, like Golang section imports. But you can have various types of fields, like for example here we have a logger and configuration as a fields of this plugin structure. Then we have a mandatory function init, which should be implemented on every plugin. Let's dig into it. Here we can check if we use configuration, for example, we can check if we have actual configuration for this plugin. If we don't have, we can return a special type of error called error disabled. Error disabled will show the end your container that it should remove the plugin from the tree. Next is to unmarshal our configuration. So it can be done with easy with CFG unmarshal key. We provide our plugin name and our configuration. Our configuration is just a we have just only say one say field which has map structure. Say it's a link to the actual YAML or JSON configuration. We can also have a any default section to initialize some default values which are optional for user to fill. And the last step is to initialize our logger. For example, here we just uh, create a new logger and I copy this to this structure field. Next functions, serve and stop, are optional to implement. But if you want for your plugin to start, is a surf and do some work, you have to implement them. Surf used to surf, it's like a start function and it can be like connection to database or like made in external requests. We will uh, fill this plugin in the later videos. And stop function can be used to free up the resources allocated by your plugin and like shut down the connections and so on. Name function should be implemented to provide for our container the user-friendly name. In our case, this is custom plugin name. We can also have a look at our configuration. In our configuration, we have a custom plugin uh, YAML field and say hello community. We also have a docker file and docker compose to build our plugin and PHP folder as well. For example, we have a worker and we can use it for local development, for example. So let's dig into Docker file. In the Docker file, we just need to import uh, from our repository on the GitHub. Velox is a tool to build our uh, plugins. Then we need to, uh, for example, our PHP application and just a general configuration like copy all the data, install the Golang, copy all the Golang stuff related to the plugin and uh, stuff related to your application. And then just build. 
So as you can see, we use uh, some configuration called Velox Tom to build our plugin. Let's have a look at it. Here we can see a sample of configuration. First, build arcs. Build arcs can be used to set your version for the Roadrunner and it, it assigned on the link stage. Here you can see that we can assign also a time. Next, we see the Roadrunner, so we have to import the main Roadrunner repository. You can ref to any tag or master branch or branch, for example, you check out it. Next is GitHub token. This is mandatory to have because when we uh, build our plugin, our Roadrunner with your plugin attached, we have a, we, we, we made a lot of requests to, to the GitHub API. So GitHub API won't allow us to make um, more than 60 requests for the anonymous user. So you have to add a token here. Next section is plugins. Here we have our like general plugins. As you can see here, we have HTTP, server, and the logs. So we can add HTTP, server, and logs. We can also have a reference here as master or tag or branch, for example. But for my custom plugin, we need to do a local development. Then we don't need to create a repository for it, so push commit every time, so have a, like a bunch of commits of, uh, per minute, like uh, for fixing the typos and so on. So we need to use a replace. So replace directive will replace your plugin from uh, remote repository with the local one. Here we have a logger section and we have a different log levels and mode development or production. So, let's try to start our plugin. As you can see here, we see info, custom plugin, hello community, and a herd. As we can see here, in our plugin go, we print this message to the logger. Thanks for watching. See. Later.